The Queen was left to like she was flying out of a cage, when she and her husband Prince Philip were given the chance to be stationed in Malta prior to her coronation, a documentary claimed. This week, the royal family joined together to mark the life of the Duke of Edinburgh, who passed away last year at the age of 99. The likes of Her Majesty, and heirs to the throne Prince Charles and Prince William, all attended the special memorial, which was viewed by millions watching on TV. The Queen, accompanied by her son Prince Andrew, joined in the ceremony, which was a joyous celebration, with those indebted to the King's consort, delivering emotional messages of how their life was changed by Philip. Her Majesty would no doubt be able to deliver a similar speech on how influential Philip was, particularly in the years before she took the throne following the death of her father in 1952. Speaking on Real Royalty's 1997 documentary, The Glorious Marriage of Prince Philip the Queen, 50 Golden Years, Sarah Bradford, the Queen's biographer, detailed their relationship, and how Philip unleashed a new life in his wife. The narrator explained, perhaps their happiest time was between their marriage and her accession to the throne. Prince Philip rejoined the Navy and was stationed in Malta. Here, for much of the time, the princess had much time to live the life of a naval officer's wife. Miss Bradford added, for Princess Elizabeth, it was like flying out of a cage. After all, she had been brought up during the war at Windsor Castle very much isolated. And there, in Malta she just lived the life of any naval wife, going to dances, going to parties, just living a totally normal life. And it was perhaps the happiest period of her life. The Queen and Philip met on two occasions before they began their relationship, in 1934 and 1937. Two years later, the Queen reportedly fell for the future Duke of Edinburgh, when 13 years old, with the pair exchanging letters. While this ceremony was no doubt emotional for Her Majesty, the royal duties that have epitomized the Queen's life will continue, particularly as this year marks her Platinum Jubilee. A raft of celebrations will be held, including an additional bank holiday for Britons, as the nation enjoys what promises to be a landmark occasion for Her Majesty. Among them, will be a beautiful collection of Her Majesty's outfits she has worn throughout her 70 years on the throne, going on display at Balmoral Castle. The items on view will include kilts, coats, dresses and hats, all under the banner of the Life at Balmoral exhibition. It will be on display between April 1st and August 2nd. Alongside the clothes, will also be a new art project, the first modern art display held inside the castle. Entitled Salmon School, the exhibition is formed around 250 mirrored glass forms, which are placed in the air to give the illusion of wild salmon. Its creator, artist Joseph Rossano said. The Salmon School is an international collaborative performance project that contextualizes the finality of a seemingly infinite resource. A synthesis of art and science, the Salmon School fosters environmental awareness, bringing together diverse communities for a greater good, cold, clean water, embracing art's ability to disarm, to make something beautiful, a sculpture mimicking an ideal, a restored ecosystem. The project achieves measurable change through its actions and initiatives. Celebrations to mark the Jubilee will be taking place between June 2nd and June 5th across the country. The Queen officially succeeded the throne on February 6, 1952, when her father King George VI died. Since then, she's marked her Golden Jubilee in 2002, and Diamond Jubilee in 2012.